Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic, and delighted to say we have um, our Ukrainian correspondent has been in touch again with a new puzzle called Squid. So this is from Seri Tushchenko, and I he's mentioned that I should stress the first syllable of his name, and uh, believe me, my pronunciation of uh, Ukrainian names is never going to be great. I should have known, I guess, that so many names end in Chenko that it must be a bit like sun in a name in this country and therefore not the stressed part, but I didn't think of it. Um, and Sergei's pointed it out and I'm very happy to try and amend my pronunciation, although I don't know how your first vowel should really be pronounced, Sergei, so there we go. Um, now, what's going on on the channel? Well, Patreon still got the linked Sudoku competition up and running. Uh, we've got a very interesting new competition for next month that we're looking forward to bringing you as well. It is a great time to join us on Patreon. Also, of course, we have all our other apps and our merchandise. You can check them out on the links under the video along with Discord server and so on. But the first link is to this puzzle. I'd squid, I think, because it's meant to resemble one. Um, and maybe that does. I'm never skilled at... 10 legs, obviously, I, I kind of, or 10 limbs, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think this has got enough. Anyway, that's what it's called. It's nothing to do with Squid Game, I believe. Um, but it is a very simple setup. These are just a few arrows and two thermos. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Along thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb end and Digits on an arrow sum to the number in the circle. So those four digits add up to whatever that is. And that's it. We don't get anything else. Sergei's puzzles are always excellent. So do, do give it a try on the first link. I am going to start now, though. Let's get cracking. Well, the long arrow's got to be where we start. So at a minimum, one and one and one and one, I suppose, is four plus a one, two pair takes this to at least seven. And that gives two degrees of freedom because there's two digits between seven and nine, or a, a difference of two. Then each of these could be a three in these positions. And this pair could add up to five instead of three. Um, Oh, okay, let's, no, let's look at this much more holistically. Right, let's look at all of these together. These represent the totals of these, the, the yellow cells add up to the same as the purple cells by virtue of the arrows. Now, the minimum in box five for those yellow cells is 10. The minimum in column three is three, that's 13. The minimum in row seven is three, that's 16. So given the other two yellow cells could both be ones, the minimum these yellows can add up to is 18. And that, of course, is also the maximum for the purples. So that tells us that these other two are ones. The purples are nines. There are no degrees of freedom on the scheme I sketched out. So these, actually, they can't be one, both of those. This is a group from one, two, three, four, though. This is a one, two pair. And this is a one, two pair as well. And that must all be true. Now, I don't think we can resolve any more. We know there's a one on this pair, but I don't think that tells us anything about how these one, two pairs resolve. Okay, we get a nine here just because of that arrow, and then there'll be a nine in one of those two cells. Um, this arrow. Right, this can't be a 1, 2, 6 arrow because of that cell couldn't be filled. Um, so it's either 1, 3, 5 or 2, 3, 4. And it's definitely got a 3 on it. Ah, oh, these two can't be 1 or 2. Nor can that... Right, that one could be a one or a two though. So what's that meaning for this? Oh, and this arrow can't, 
neither of these can add up to 8. Sorry, ni sorry, that's not true. Neither of them can be a 9. Um, oh, maybe we can do another holistic thing. Look at the three arrow cells here and the two here. Right, let's colour them blue and these red. Blues have to add up to reds. Now, the minimum values here are 3 and 4 in this row. And we're working to a maximum of 15, 8 and 7 here. So if that was 7, yes, the minimum value of these cells is 8. They could be 1, 3, 4. If that was a 1, they couldn't even be that. They, could, they would have to add up to at least 9. So that's a 2. These add up to 1, 3, well, they add up to 8 by being 1, 3, 4. These are a 3, 4 pair, and now these are a 7, 8 pair, because blue adds up to 15 at its absolute minimum, and that's the maximum for the reds, because 9 has gone. So if this was a 7, that would be 1, 2, 4, this would be a 3, that would be a 4, that's possible. Hmm. Hang on, I've said that these three are one, three, and four, but I've got a one telling me which one is one. That one is one. I'm sorry if this sounds like it doesn't make any sense. That fixes one in the central box there. Now one of those two is a one. Oh, that's become a one since that was made a two. Now, what's our total here? Three, four. These add up to five. So that's not a 2. That's all that's telling me. Oh, this is a 3-4 pair, so that's a 2. Oh, this is strange, isn't it? This isn't 2 now. This is another 3-4 pair. And these two add up to 5, but that could work either way around. I don't think I can disambiguate these remaining cells. Well, they've not been that quick at spotting things, so you never know. There's going to be a 1 somewhere up here. There's going to be a 1 on this arrow because of this 1-2 pair. Uh, one of these two is a 1. Hmm, what about 2s? One of those three? Can't be there on the arrow, on the thermo. Ah, oh, what's going on with the thermo? Look, this can't be 1, 2, 3 or 4. So, I was going to write 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, but I th yeah, we can do a lot better than that because this can't be a 9, so that's an 8, and we've got the whole thermo done suddenly. That's pretty, isn't it? What about this one? Yes, look, this can't be 9, 8, or 7, so its maximum is 6, but this can't be 1 or 2 in the column, so... We've got one possibility, I mean, there's there's one degree of freedom in each of those numbers. Then what? This seven could be one, two, four. I've looked at that, haven't I? Then that would be a three. That would be a four. Oh, these... Oh no, they can be the same. They don't have to be different. Do they have to be the same? I don't know. One of them has to be a four. I do know that. Because this is either seven and they're a three, four pair, or it's eight and they're both four. So at least one of them has to be a four. And that means there's no four in these cells because they see both of those. but I don't think that proves anything. Ah, this does. Three, four pair, three, four pair, three and four in this row are up here. Now, three's in one of those cells, three's in one of these. So the three in column seven must be up here. Um, and that's not doing anything else. Oh, is this five, one, three or six, one, two? No, it's not 612, it's 513 or 234. Now, if it was 234, that would be a 3-4 pair. 
which looks weird. I've just noticed this is either eight or nine. Two, three, four, five. These are from six, seven, eight, nine. That one can't be eight or nine in its column. This can't be nine. That's not very helpful. Oh, suddenly getting a bit stuck here. Interesting. What's going on? Have I, have I actually worked out these arrows and I just can't see how? There's every chance of that. This is five or six. Okay, what about this column? That's an awful lot of restricted cells. Hmm, but not, not to any use. I don't know. I can't see what to do. I'm going to do some pencil marking instead. Five, seven, eight, nine, two, one, seven, three, four, five, five, six, eight, and five, six, eight, nine. Hey, it's not getting anything done. It's got to be about these red cells now. Actually, I could get rid of the yellow and uh, purple colors because they're pointless. Well, not entirely. I suppose those have to add up to five and those have to add up to five. Um, wow, I'm really missing something completely here. Seven, one, nine, three, one, nine. Nine's in one of those. Is it down here? Two, three, four. What's more likely? Two, three, four or one, three, five? I do not know. Okay, let's go back to thinking about this arrow having to have a four. Ah, that also means this arrow has to have a three on it. But all that is telling me is there's no three in this cell. Oh, maybe there's a reason they can't be a pair. Is there? Can't see it. Okay, let's mark this row then. I don't know, I'm not going to do that. There's so many possibilities. Nine has to be, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven, and eight are restricted to these cells. That can't be seven, that can't be five. Crumbs, what? what's going on? Is it this thermo? If that was a four, this becomes a three. Because these two add up to five, actually these two never add up to five. So they're either a three, one pair or a four, two pair. If they were four, two, that would be five and this would be six. Oh, if this is five, these are both six. Is that a problem? That becomes six. Ah, oh, this becomes six. This is six because six isn't on the arrow. Six isn't on this arrow either. Oh, that's interesting. Six is definitely not on this arrow in the bottom corner. Ah, oh, it's very constrained, but it, I think it is possible to fit the sixes in, even if that's five. So it probably is, therefore. Um, sorry, I'm not being very crisp on this part of the puzzle. This can't be a seven. The seven in the column is either there or there. Three. If that's a three, this goes four, five, six. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm meant to be thinking about this. So frustrating. This can't be four or seven, eight, nine. But really, that's not likely. OK, these are from one, two, three, four, five. So are these, because this is either two, three, four or one, three, five. So what does that mean? If they both have a five in, there's a five here. Oh, seven, eight. So these cells can't be seven or eight, or that one even. I don't know. I don't think it's giving anything away. That can't be a one. That's the most boring deduction ever. Um, ah, this can't be one, three, four because of that. So there must be a two on this arrow. What's that telling me? I don't know, because either of these can be twos in row seven. It's either one, two, five or one, two, four. So there's no three on it. That's what it's telling me. There's no three here or here because of the three, four pair. So one of these two is definitely a three. No, hang on, that's not, that's not true. One of these three is definitely a three. Oh, that's not any use, I don't think. If that's a four, this is one, two, five, making eight, and that's a four as well. Hang on, if this is a four, this is a one, two, five, making eight, and that makes this a four. But if this is a three, this has to be four anyway. This is always four. How am I not seeing that? It's so clear in some ways, and yet so opaque. And maybe it doesn't help at all. Well, it keeps four out of these cells. Um, I still can't resolve these, but three will go with seven in one of these boxes and four with eight in the other. So this is one, two, five, or one, two, four. If it's one, two, four, that's a one, two pair. If it's one, two, five, I don't know, that's not a one. Oh, this can't be a three now. So three is definitely in one of these two cells. Um, three in the bottom row. Ah, this has got a one and a two in it. Now, whichever of those it shares with this is also there. I cannot see the way through this. I don't think it's really this difficult, but I am struggling. My goodness, this is so strange. Right, let's have another think then. I haven't thought about this one in a while. And when I did think about it, it didn't help that much, but I have a feeling I'm just missing something up there. Four, five, six would create a six here. We'd have sixes in those positions. That would be a six. This would have to be a six, because there'd be nowhere left in this box. That would become a six. And that, I 
I've highlighted these exact cells before and not really had a result out of them. Oh, I'm being so dense here. Three, four, two, one. Five, six, seven, eight, or nine. I mean, this is the most hopeless Quincy Paul I've ever tried to use. Oh, that can't be a nine. That's not thrilling, is it? Nine, one, seven. Wow, I cannot. Oh, no. I was going to say. Okay. Finally, where does seven go in this box? If you've been shouting that at me for ages, I'm very sorry. But there's a seven, eight pair there, so it doesn't go anywhere here. That seven means it doesn't go here. Can't be in any of these arrow cells, so it's there. Is that going to be the sudden breakthrough? I bet it's not. Oh, it is a bit, actually. Look, this can't be six anymore, because you'd have six here, and now you can't have six in this box. So that's a five, and that's huge, because it does the whole thermo all at once. Or is it huge? Maybe it's not. It fixes three up here. Then we get three in one of... No, there's a three in one of those. So we actually place three there, and we're left with three in one of these positions. Oh, no, look, that's a four. Three and four. These yellow cells, we know their totals. So they're all... Um, colored now. Oh, sorry, they're all numbered. So I can get rid of yellow. Now we've got an extra one and a two out of that, and surely that's going to help. Yes, there's no two on this, so it's one, three, five. That's important. One, three, five, that can't be a five. Two, seven, nine, four, six, and eight are left in the box. Now, one, three, five there. Oh, come on. I'm sure things are happening now. Let's keep going. That's four or eight, two or two and six in this column. All the odds, by coincidence, I think, are done in that column. Ah, seven, oh, seven and eight is a pair looking at that cell. Again, I forget the pair. Right, six and eight is now a pair in this box. So that's a two, and that one isn't. Um, and this is a known digit. It's a four. That's going to give me four in one of these two. They can't have a five on. That's a five. They're a one, three pair. This four, three pair is fixed as it has been for a little while. One in this column has to be at the top. Three, seven, five, four. Okay, that was progress. Five here means there's no five in these cells. Ah, oh, that four has fixed. This is a three and that is a four. So the totals are known. They do have doubles on their cells. This is a one, two, five triple now. So five, one, two. Those don't have fives. That's where five is in column in row seven. Um, the three and one pairs resolved. That's where three goes in this row. Two, six pair here. Four, eight pair below them, that becomes six, and a seven to finish the bottom row. Now let's take that up. These can't be eights, they're part of a six, nine pair. Seven, eight, three, two, one. This is five or nine. Oh, so four has been fixed up here, there it is. Five or six at the top. Now, where else shall we look? Up here. Seven, three, four. Up the central column. Only one place for eight is there. Six, nine pair. Those can't have an eight in now. So nine must be in one of those two. Hmm. 
Hmm, slowed down again. Right, we've got six, nine, four, three, one, eight. So two, five, and seven still to place in box two. That's seven or nine by Sudoku. Three, four, one, eight, five, nine, two. That's six or seven. Oh, it's so the only place for two in this row is there at the end, which was a strange surprise. Four, three, five, one, two, um, seven, and six have to be in opposite columns. Ah, oh, still bogged down. There's a five there, so that's not a five. One, four, three, eight, six, two, five. This is seven or nine. Oh, hang on, I've got an eight now looking at that. Oh, that's quite big. Right, I think we might be suddenly tidying everything up all at once. Yes, I think this is happening now. Five, six pair makes that a seven and that a nine. Um, this can't be seven. This one, don't know. Five there is looking at that cell. So six, nine, six. Then we have a two eight pair up here. That's become a seven, so this is a five. And that isn't. Three, seven, four, one, eight, five, two. This is nine. That's six, nine there. Ah, oh, what an epic puzzle. It's so cleverly put together. Two, eight, this is a two, five, seven, five, six. Let's clear the colors because we didn't need them anymore. And put in the last two and six. There we go. What a lovely puzzle by Serhi again. It's getting better and better, um, as I hope his country is after the troubles they've been going through. Um, yeah, well done, Sergei. Brilliant to hear from you again. Great that you've sent that. It's a super puzzle and uh, really enjoyed solving it. So hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.